Your producer, it's very common that we use samples and oftentimes we want to manipulate the samples in some way. What if we find a sample that maybe is slower than we want it to be and we want to speed it up? Or maybe it's a really fast sample and we want to slow it down. How do we do that? My name is El Marquis, musician, rapper, record producer, unashamed crash follower, and today I'm going to teach you how to change the tempo of a sample in Logic Pro 10. El Marquis First of all, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I make videos that break down my beat making and songwriting process. I make tutorials on Logic Pro 10. I give advice to independent producers and artists, and occasionally I do product reviews. So if any of that interests you, I need you to do me a really quick favor. Go down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on notifications so that way you'll be notified whenever I upload more videos like this, and you can help other people who have similar interests as you see more videos like this. Got that out of the way? Bet. Let's get into the video. So on another one of my videos, Mahak Guman dropped a comment and asking me to make a video on how to change the BPM of a sample. And it's super easy, it only takes a couple of seconds, so now I'm going to go switch over to Logic Pro 10 and I'm going to show you how to change the BPM or the tempo of a sample. Alright, now we switched over to Logic Pro 10, the first thing that we need to do is find a sample to use. And for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use one of my samples from one of my free sample packs on my website, lmarkeyproductions.com. The sample pack is called Old Photos. By the way, if you do like the loop that you hear in this video, you can download this as well as four other loops for a total of five for free on my website, lmarkeyproductions.com. It primarily draws influence from lo-fi music, but of course, you can take these samples and flip them into pretty much any genre of music that you'd like. So the first thing that we are going to do is take this loop right here drag it into Logic Pro 10. And with most loops that you'll get from sites such as Splice or Cymatics or Producer Grind or the majority of reputable sample pack distribution websites, tip typically they have the BPM within the sample itself. So for example, this one is 64 BPM. So just double check that you import the tempo correctly over here in Logic. And to confirm that this is the correct tempo, hit K on your keyboard to turn the metronome on and then just play it. That's on beat, perfect. Now let's say that you want to speed up this loop. So it's really easy to do that. You can either hit Command F on your keyboard or you can click this icon over here that shows and hides the flex mode in Logic, which is how we're going to manipulate the tempo of the sample. After you hit Command F or just click this button over here, you go over here onto your track and enable flex. And then it will automatically go to polyphonic mode. That is the mode that you want to go to. If it goes into a different mode, just click over here and then go down over here to flex time polyphonic, click on that. So what this does is now we can change the tempo of the project and now the loop will actually follow the tempo so the tempo right now is 64 let's hear what it sounds like if we speed it up to 80. so i'm just gonna type in 80 over here hit enter and now i'm gonna play it first without the metronome and then i'll play it with the metronome just to make sure that it is on beat Now let's say you want to slow it down even slower than 64. Let's say, let's slow it down to 55. You can click on here, type in 55. Of course, also you can click on it and just drag the number up and down. So let's drag it to 55 and let's play it again. easy as that this is pretty straightforward it doesn't take too much work to change the tempo of a sample and just to review the main things that you need to do is first find the sample if it's a sample from a site such as cymatics or splice typically they do have the tempo over here if you're using a sample from somewhere else like let's say an actual song or something that you download from youtube one thing that you can do to find the tempo of the sample is to go to audio effects and go to metering and go to BPM counter. And using this is sometimes hit or miss. It works 99% of the time with samples that have drums in them. When something like this where it's just the audio file without drums, sometimes it's a bit harder or it takes a little while longer, which is why I like using samples from Splice or Cymatics or L Marquee Productions because we all put the tempo of the samples or the loops in the file. So then all you have to do is just import it and then make sure that the project setting is correct. And then after you make sure that the project tempo in Logic is set to the original tempo of the loop, just enable flex, make sure that it's set to polyphonic mode and then you're set you're good to go and then you can drag the tempo up and down until you find the correct tempo that you would like to be at and now you just learned how to change the tempo of a sample in logic pro 10. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you see today, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on notifications so that way you'll never miss another one of my uploads. Also, be sure to visit my website, lmarkeyproductions.com, where you'll be able to check out my music, my beats, my sample kits, my merchandise, as well as my mixing and mastering and consulting services. Now go down in the comment section below, let me know what other tutorials in Logic Pro 10 should I make. My name is L Marquee, L Marquee Productions. God bless.